Welcome back everyone to my most anticipated another month, another month has gone by. August, in my opinion, was okay. It wasn't terrible, but it was okay. It wasn't like the greatest thing ever. Like the best movie of the month to me was definitely Kubo and the Two Strings. Behind that, Don't Breathe, and then all that stuff was all that. And last month I did pretty good. My boss looked successful. Suicide Squad, I got that right. No doubt about it, I got it right. And my flop, I also got it very right. Ben Hur is a huge flop. So I actually got it both right for sure. I'm positive. So good job, me and go Tom Brady. I don't care about you, all you haters. Go Tom Brady. Um, anyway, guys, football starting about this month. And September, to me, just looks like a month. It's really slowing down these next few weeks. And then September 23rd, we have a movie on this list that will get a movie that I'm actually looking forward to, which we'll be talking about in a few minutes. Either way, guys, September is a month that is going to start slowing down. But toward the end of this month, I will be starting my Harry Potter reviews. But that's at the very end of the month. So, you guys, you guys, didn't... so let's get started. Let's film it. Let's do it. I got my list right here. And let's talk about September movies. As you know, we will talk about my top three most anticipated movies of September. So, coming in number three is a movie that I think looks really good. It looks like the X Men universe, but Tim Burns style. And that is, I have to read the title off the page Miss Perigene's Home for Particular Children. Per peculiar Children. Yeah, um, I'm in 11th grade, and I just read that. Um, but yeah, this movie looks, it looks like a good X-Men movie for Tim Burton. It looks weird, it looks cool, and all, everything I've seen, it looks good. It looks like a really good movie, and I do believe it could be a good box office success. I mean, it's from a book that I never even heard of, and a lot of people in my school are like, Oh, that's coming out, can you want to see? I'm like, I don't know what that is. I, I've never heard of it. Tim Burton's doing it, and he's been on a rough schedule lately. So hopefully this movie, he comes back with a big bang. It looks like a good summer movie, but you know it's coming out in the end of uh, September. and it's Like in fall. Either way, I am looking for this movie. So coming in at number two, it's a movie that I think looks, from the one trailer we've seen, it looks so good, and I hope it's good. And that is Deep Water Horizon. To me, at least... This movie looks good. I love Mark Wahlberg. I love Kurt Russell. I love this cast. I love the trailer we saw with him and his daughter or whatever. I think this movie is going to be a tearjerker, hopefully. And hopefully, I just really want Mark Wahlberg to, like, get an Oscar talk. Like, he's also got another movie with the same director coming out at the end of this year called Patriot's Day, which also looks, sounds really cool and good, which could be oscar worthy. I hope, because I want Mark Wahlberg to get oscar on because Mark Wahlberg, who doesn't like Mark Wahlberg? He pulls for the Patriots. Interesting fact. But either way, Deepwater Horizon, it looks good. It looks interesting, definitely. So I'm definitely looking forward to that movie, and I hope it's good. It comes at the very end of the month, and I feel like a lot of people are not going to be talking about it. When it comes out, though, I bet it gets good box office. I bet it. I bet it does, but not, like, amazing. All right, so now let's talk about my number one. Number one to me, it was right when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to hold that off for a second. And I looked down the list, I was like, oh, Deepwater Horizon, Miss Particular Children, and I was like, yeah, let's go put it number one. So my number one is The Magnificent Seven. Yes! Uh, this movie looks awesome. It, it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look terrible. It just looks like a fun, good Western movie. And it's directed by uh, Anton Foucault, who did Training Day, End of Watch, um, The Equalizer. He's a good director. He's made some really good movies. And I love Training Day. I love Denzel Washington. And I am a Chris Pratt fanboy. I love Chris Pratt. I love me some Chris Pratt. I'm a huge fan of him, and I supposedly I look like him. Yippee dewey. Anyway, guys, but um, but yeah, Chris Pratt is in it. Denzel, uh, Ethan Hawke, Vincent D'Onofrio, bunch of people. Denzel, like this movie has a great cast. It looks super fun. Looks like a really cool action movie, and I want to see it really bad, and I can't wait. So that takes my number one because it looks super awesome and cool. And now let's move on to the movies I'm not looking forward to at all. Now welcome to the part of the video where I talk about the pieces of crap that to me look bad. But again. Again, I say this every month because people don't understand me. From the trailers and stuff I have seen, my eyeballs have seen, to me, this movie looks just, uh, doesn't look amazing. So that's what this list is for, this movie that doesn't look good to me. And so coming number three, I might get some hate for this, but I don't see why everyone's talking about this movie because it, to me, it, it just doesn't look like an amazing movie, but I understand why people are excited for it, and I hope it's good, but my number three is going to Blair Witch. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get some hate on that one. I know, I know a lot of people love the Blair Witch Project, but to me, Blair Witch, the new one, it just looks really, 
really like found footagey kind of stuff. I hope it's good. But it just looks like another found footage to me, and that's it. It just has Blair Witch in the title. It wasn't even called Blair Witch at first. It was a secret movie, and it came out. I was like, hey, we're doing Blair Witch movie, so go see it, because it's got the title Blair Witch. I feel like that's the only reason it's called, like, I don't, that's what it feels like to me. I feel like if you make a cliche found footage horror film, and they're just putting Blair Witch on the title, the Logan, so you can, you know, buy the money, pay the ticket, get to go see the movie, get your butt in the seat, because that's all they want. So that's why they called it Blair Witch. That's my opinion. But either way, I hope it's good. My number two is a movie that I just... I don't think anyone's even heard of it, so that's a good thing. It's called The Disappointment Room. Yeah, it's like a horror movie. I saw a trailer like a week ago or something like that, and it looks... awful. Like, I mean, it looks so bad. It looks like a cliche, dumb horror film. And I had to go see it, and there's a reason why it's called Disappointment. In the, in the title, The Disappointment Room, it's because it's going to be a disappointment, it's going to suck bad. Alright, so moving from that crap, because I don't like talking about movies that you, you haven't even heard of. But number one, I, I, I just, this, this looks awful, to me at least. My, I have a friend, my girlfriend, she thinks this movie looks cute and adorable, but I'm like, no, it looks like a piece of boo-boo, and that is the movie Storks. What is that? I am no, that ew, it just looks, it looks so bad. If you're not like Disney or DreamWorks or Pixar, then don't make an animated film. Unless you're people who make Kubo, then keep making animated films. But either way, this is, it just doesn't look good. You, oh, it looks like a really, really little kids movie. And I, oh, just, I, just, I gotta put number one because I just, it looks so boo-boo. It looks so bad. So yeah, that is my number one, and so now let's move on to the part of this video where we all predict what is the big success and what is the big flop. But before I talk about them, my honorable mentions, I forgot to do this last month, my honorable mentions are, for movies I want to see, Snowden, which looks so good, Sully, that looks really good, I can't wait to see that with my dad, and this movie looks like a Stupid old time masterminds. That movie looks stupid, but I feel like that showed the whole every funniest part in the trailer. So, anyway, those are my honorable mentions. So, now let's get to the part of the video with my predictions of box office. So, my most successful movie is going to be The Magnificent Seven. I feel like it's going to make some money. It looks good. It's got Chris Pratt. He's making, he's a lot, every movie he's in lately, he's making money. He's got Denzel. It's got a good director and everything. I just feel like it looks good for the audience. To me, what people have heard of, they they say it looks cool and everything. So I think that will be the biggest movie, like make the most money of the month. And my uh, flop is a movie I barely even heard of. I like, and it gets, it it, it says on on Box Office Mojo it has a nationwide release. That means it's gonna be in a lot of theaters. I saw one trailer, and the movie is called When the Bow When the Bow Breaks. To me, it looks like a Perfect Guy sequel to me. It looks like the same company who made The Perfect Guy last year and they're making this movie. That's exactly what it looks. It looks exactly like that. Just same actors, too. It just has a different kind of story and everything. That's what it looks like to me, at least. And so, yeah, I think that movie's going to flop. Like, I, I don't see the movie making money. I haven't, I haven't heard of this movie. I wasn't into a disappointment room, but a uh, eh, horror movie that like, kind of can get people in the seats. But this movie, I, it looks like it's a movie about a girl having sex and having a baby and just... Yeah, no, I think that's going to be a flop at Magnus 7, but bang So, guys, that is my most anticipated for September. I know it's kind of awkward because a bunch of movies that I haven't even heard of and I'm putting on my list because, you know why? Because I can. Welcome to YouTube. I can do whatever I want. Whip. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just scarred your eyes forever. You can dislike the video if you want. It's okay. I'm wearing a Tom Brady t-shirt. I mean, jersey. I understand. Uh, but I love Tom Brady. Okay, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!